Ladies and gentlemen, buenos dias. My name is Dr. Vincent Leone. I'm the coordinator of funded programs here in the Brentwood Unified School District, here to give you a brief overview of emergency funding that's available to our district from the State Education Department to address the negative impact of the coronavirus pandemic on our students, and most importantly, to, to explain to you a process that will allow you, our parents, family members, and community members, an opportunity to give us your input on how these monies are best spent. As you know, your input is very, very important to us and will inform um, our final plans for the use of, of funds. So thank you for participating in this brief overview and for taking the time to participate in the brief survey that will follow so we can hear from you best way for us to spend these funds to support our students. So the first funding stream that's available to our district through these emergency funds comes from the American Rescue Plan, which was enacted on March 11th, 2021. The American Rescue Plan provides a total of nearly $122 billion to states and school districts to help safely reopen and sustain the safe operation of schools and to address the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the nation's students. The way the State Education Department distributes American Rescue Plan funds is by looking at the number and percentage of economically disadvantaged students in a district, as Brentwood is the largest suburban school district in the state with a high concentration of economically disadvantaged students our share of American Rescue Plan funds is significant. As you can see on the screen, we will have available to us $40,879,935 over the course of the next couple of years to support our students. As part of that money, we must set aside 20% to make sure that we're responding to not just students' academic needs, but most importantly, their social and emotional needs as well. And we are also required to address the disproportionate impact that COVID-19 has had on underrepresented student subgroups. And those include economically disadvantaged children, students with disabilities, English learners, migrant students, homeless students, and children in foster care. Um, so um, the State Education Department is very clear that we have to be very thoughtful about supporting those students who really need the most support, students who are at risk in our school district. Now, there are various allowable expenses for American Rescue Plan money. Um, so it's important that we explain to you what the allowable expenses are as we're going to be seeking your input for the best way for us to spend money. So the first allowable expense is repairing and improving school facilities to reduce the risk of virus transmission and exposure. For example, improving air quality in our schools, cleaning schools, sanitizing schools, so any funds that are used for those purposes are allowable. Again, addressing the needs of children who are most at risk. So the State Education Department is very clear um, that we have to think very thoughtfully about the services we provide to students who are most at risk to make sure they get the support they need to be successful. Planning for or implementing implementing activities during long-term closures, including providing meals to eligible students and providing technology for online learning, two things that we have done extensively over the course of the past year and something we, we plan to continue to do. Providing mental health services and supports, including through the implementation of evidence-based full-service community schools, and the hiring of counselors, 
planning and implementing activities related to summer learning and supplemental after school programs and other activities that are necessary to maintain operation of and continuity of services, including continuing to employ existing or hiring new LEA and school staff. So the next funding stream is referred to as the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplemental Appropriations Act of 2021, also known as the CRRSA. The CRRSA Act provides $81.88 billion nationwide and a second stabilization fund, again, to prepare for and respond to the coronavirus pandemic. The CRSSA is broken up into two sub-funding streams referred to as ESSER and referred to as GEAR. And with both of those funding streams combined, the Brentwood Union School District will have an additional $18,346,095 to spend to address the negative impact of the coronavirus pandemic on our students. The allowable funding streams for CRSSA are the same um, allowable expenses as described previously for the American Rescue Plan. The only difference is there are no required reservations of CRSSA funds. Some preliminary ideas um, that we have in the Brentwood Union Free School District, and these are preliminary um, until we get a meaningful input from all of our stakeholders, especially and particularly our parents, families, and community members. We are looking at infrastructure and improving the infrastructure of our schools, including our ventilation systems, continuing to provide devices for students and teachers um, who did not receive them last year. For example, our students who are entering kindergarten um, and we did not have an opportunity to, to purchase devices for teachers last year. And improving cybersecurity, which is an increasing, um, of increasing importance in the day and age that we're living in with more and more of our students and teachers using devices Cybersecurity is very, very important. Improving students' social emotional health is of paramount importance. Really understanding the impact that this pandemic has had, the isolation that students have experienced has had for so long on students' social emotional health. So thinking about hiring additional social workers, guidance counselors, and nurses to make sure we have the resources we need to appropriately respond to and support our students' social and emotional health. And then of course, making sure we have the tools and resources to support our students' academic needs. Um, so thinking about extended school day activities before school, after school, and summer school activities, really just extending opportunities for students beyond the school day to make sure they have all the support that they need to be successful and providing our staff with the professional development that they need to really support our students. And that includes professional development to support students' academic needs, but also their social and emotional needs as well. And also to continuously improve and refine everyone in the school district's cultural competence to support our students here in Brentwood. So the next steps um, include meaningful stakeholder input um, and you know our most valued constituency are our parents, are our family members, are our community members. So your input's going to be extraordinarily important. With this video, um, you're going to have um, access to a link that's going to bring you to a survey. So that survey is going to be organized around the different allowable expenditures that, that we have. So different ways we can spend the money as I've described in this video. And you will be able to access that survey and you will be able to check um, as many of those areas as you feel like are most important um, and, the, and the, the most important impactful ways we can spend that money. 
So I'm really encouraging you to, to take that survey. Your input is extraordinarily valuable to us. Input from our parents, family members, community members, our staff who we will survey, our students who we will survey, and will absolutely inform the development of our plans and our budgets that we're gonna to submit to the State Education Department. Um, so in Brentwood, everything we do, we're better when we work together. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to participate in this brief overview, for taking the time to access the link associated with this video, to take that brief survey. If you have any questions on these funding streams or if you would like additional information, please feel free to call the Office of Funded Programs. Um, at any time, the number is 631-434-2403. Um, and as always, I thank you for everything you do to support the Brentwood Union Free School District and to support your students um, if you have them um, and our school district each and every day. Thank you so much. I look forward to continuing to, to serve you um, in every way possible, and I look forward to seeing you again.